Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we sailed from Lagos in Portugal to Cardiz in Spain. The conditions were absolutely beautiful. We celebrated with a well-earned beer and got ready for a new chapter in a new country. You wrote to me, you wrote to me, this is suddenly morning day day one day one in Cadiz and uh, we are gonna try and get off floating I actually meant folding bikes so today it's folding bike day time to actually go and see Cadiz using a bike haven't used the bikes in a couple of years because there was really no need to use them in the Caribbean so this is gonna be a little bit of a bun fight getting them together but fingers crossed yeah Bike's locked up and we saw on the way as we were cycling past a very Spanish breakfast for two euros. <laughs> which is one of my favourite Spanish breakfasts. We've already had breakfast, but that's not gonna stop us. Second breakfast of my lover. <laughs> uh, which is a uh, toasted ham, a uh, toasted toast, ham and orange juice. Coffee? I don't want coffee. Uh, tried out my Spanish for the first time this year and um, we'll see how I went. It, it, it all depends on what comes out, <laughs> how successful I was. <laughs> Darling, we did order two roast chickens for breakfast. <laughs> when in doubt, just say see you all the time. <laughs> I don't think this is a problem. So hopefully we're going to get, um, I just wanted a coffee, I think that I ordered that okay. And, um, Nick wanted like the, the breakfast, uh, so yeah, it's a fairly simple order, it should be okay. So seeing as we're going to be in Spain for a while, yeah. I think we should try and learn two phrases a day. Well, my phrases that I wish I knew three minutes ago was, um, ah. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, Gracias. Café Espanol. <laughs> Great success so far. Um, I want to know how to say do I pay now or later? And I want to know how to say. I think I'm into pay. I think it's the same as Italian. Yeah, it probably is. So now or later? Uh, Asta is later. Later. See you later. Is Asta? Look. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to display my ignorance. I'm going to look it up later. Strong, make strong like bull. Are you sure you ordered a breakfast table? I seem to not be having a breakfast. So, just say uno central, and he said, What? And I said, Just say uno central, and he said, Okay. Oh, you'll be going back in to get it, but I'm going to get it. Okay, no more than a cuenta, hija. Me quedé que eso de los dos cafés con leche, me creía. De nada. Ah, bueno, entonces, ¿qué quieres? Sí, entonces, ¿qué quieres? Sí, te lo pongo para que no te lo tomes frío, ah. ¿vale? Eso me lo llevo. ¿Este lo retiro o lo dejo? Perfecto. Perfecto. Por aquí, por aquí. Estos dos cafés no lo cobro, ¿eh? Que no, eso no, fue fallo sí, mío, señor. ¿vale? Gracias, señor. So, I've always said that you should try to speak language irrespective of how many mistakes you make. And I think that I would rather go to a country 
order something and end up with something completely different than to go somewhere and, end, and just not try it. It doesn't matter where we are, even if I end up in wherever we are. And I think this morning's breakfast order is, um, is proven that you tried. And we got a free coffee out of it. <laughs> so this morning's breakfast order was meant to be one orange juice, one, uh, one toasted ham sandwich, one coffee. Two coffees. Two, two coffees. Yeah. We have four coffees, two orange juices, and two ham sandwiches. <laughs> Just bonus. <laughs> so. This is what happens when I order. <laughs> if I drink four Spanish coffees, yeah, it's not going to be a pleasant outcome to the morning. No. Um, but you know, well done, we've got a lot of coffee. Um, now we have... But always better to try. That's right. And look, worst case scenario, you end up with loads of food. Oh, it's that salsa. It's that salsa. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So this isn't ketchup. It's just pureed tomato, which you kind of... It's pretty bloody nice, actually. It's pretty bloody nice. Feels good. Continuing episode of what do we do? Like, how is this life so completely different from the one we portray on the uh, internet? Um, I just thought I'd show you where we are. It is, don't even have a watch, 12.30. I've got my nerd bins on. Uh, we have been working um, flat out, actually. Teresa said to me this morning when we got up, you ain't having a day in, in town today. We're gonna, we've got to work. And we do, because we've just been sat on our backsides drinking beer a lot. We have got a horrendous amount of editing to do. Anyway, lunchtime, so um, I'll just show you the scene of carnage inside Ruby Rose. We have uh, my workstation there. So footage, cameras, drones, all sorts of stuff. Therese is over there doing her thing. And well, I have been, I, I wasn't told. I think I decided to make us some lunch because it comes to a point. <laughs> does come a point where you realize that you're hungry uh, about half an hour after you start snapping at each other or giving each other stink eye. So this afternoon's lunch is going to be a plate of deliciousness which will no doubt cheer Teresa up. Um, no, I, I, I just... Oh, that's just me. Oh, no, you greedy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just a massive plate of salami for you. You would eat that. Of course I'd eat it, I'm a man. So just stuff to pick at so we can work and pick through our food. So there's some fresh bread that Teresa created yesterday, some avocado, tomatoes, and the produce of uh, Andalusia, and also Portugal. So we've got some different cheeses from around the world, some salamis, dates, almonds, and some turkey breast. We will wash this down with some mineral water. Um, I would normally be having a beer now, but then three or four in, there would get no medicine done, would there? And we also don't have mineral water. We have tap water. We drank all the sparkling water. Oh, no, we didn't, but there's still another one. Yay! Don't play with my dreams.
get this. <laughs> Come on, you. Yeah. Do you know where we are? No. But the cathedral's there, I can see the spire. Hola! Anyways, it is... What day is it, babe? Thursday? Wednesday? Wednesday. And we are back in Cadiz. Cadiz is a beautiful, beautiful place. Anyways, hola! So, uh, a couple of things. Uh, being in Spain in... Ooh! August? It really is. We've kind of got into this routine where we stay out of the sun between about, what, 12 and when? 8? 12 and 8? It's literally just too hot to do anything. So this afternoon we've been editing, but like a little orchid, I find that as the sun goes down, I come to life. Actually, it should be, what's those flowers that come out at night? Jasmines? Okay. Anyways, so eight o'clock in Cadiz is beer o'clock. We are heading for a couple of cold golden libations before dinner. So we're gonna go and have one of our final nights in Cadiz before we end up heading off to Gibraltar. Now Gibraltar is important for us for various reasons. Uh, number one, we've never been there. Number two, it's British. Uh, I've never been there. I'm slightly uh, apprehensive about what it's gonna be like. I've had various, various reviews of Gibraltar from people. Some say it's amazing, okay, some it's say- amazing. It's amazing. I'm excited about Gibraltar. Okay, fine. It also means we're in the Mediterranean. Yeah. Which I am pretty, pretty stoked about. ¿Qué tal? Hola. So what have you done this evening? I think it's best that I just show you. I literally turned my back for 20 seconds and her back split. My back split? Yes. It's a joke. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? No. Yes, they do. They definitely don't. Our audience are far more intelligent than you get the credit for. <laughs> my bag did not split. You managed to upend the glass of wine over yourself. Yeah, I was holding. I will. I will mind it. I was holding a glass of wine and I went to reach for something and then my hands just like <laughs> clashed. <laughs> and then the wine spilled into my lap. I have another glass of wine which I'm being very, very, very careful with. Next week we're buying Tommy Tippy cups and she's going to drink out of a double handled cup, aren't you? Actually, I know someone that had Tommy Tippy cups on board a boat. That's, that's actually a really nice idea. Alright, fine. Anyway, enjoy your wine. See how I can drink it without spilling it? Thank you. 
uh, spending the morning wandering around Cardiff, filming, filming, soaking in the general splendour, and uh, people watching. We're in the square at the moment. It's just beautiful. Found a sh shady little spot. And we're on a cool marble surface, which yeah. means that it's about 10 degrees cooler in the shade. It is digging into my back, but I'm kind of okay with that for the minute. I'm almost going to go to a Chinese supermarket and buy a cushion. <laughs> I think these two dudes are setting for the afternoon. Yeah. Next week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we are unable to make any progress east due to the weather, so we decide to hop on a train and spend a couple of nights in Seville, possibly the most beautiful city in Andalusia. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. There we go. Cheers, bye.